All right, students, this is Lesson 10, Model and Solve Multi-Step Problems. On pages 191 and 192, you are going to be using these two pages to talk with your parents about what you're going to be learning about, so that way they are able to help you. Go ahead and turn to page 193. Make sure that you have a pencil. If I write it, you write it. It would also be a really good idea to have your card that you should have made with your questions about how to solve word problems on it. Right, on 193. On a test, Lola scores six points on each of the first three questions and four points on each of the other two questions. How many points does Lola score on all five questions? First of all, what is this problem about? Well, it's about the number of points that Lola scores on a test that she's taking. So we've got to think about that. Um, a test has more than one question. It has several questions. Each question can be worth different points. So making that connection in my head. Next. What information is important? Well, it's important to know that she scored six points on the first three questions, okay? It's also important to know that she scored four points on the other two questions. So that means um, it's three questions here and two here. So that means it must have three, must have five questions and it says that she scored six points on the first three. And it says that she scored four points on the other two. So these two, she scored four points. So that information's important. And then um, what am I trying to find out? Well, I'm trying to find out how many points does Lola score on all five questions? So how many does she score on all of them? So if we were going to do something, how would we figure that out? Well, I've already started to make a model here because our last question is how can I draw a model to help me solve this problem? So if I turn this into a model, I could make a bar model and then we would have six points, six points, six points, and then four and four. So six, 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 four, and four. And then I need to find the total, which, I mean, that would be like our unknown number that goes right here. I can do this by adding them, so I could do six plus six, plus six, and then over here I could do four plus four. I could also do four times two, and over here I could do six times three, because either way I'm going to get the same answer, right? So if I do six times three, I should know that that is 18, and four times two is eight, but I'm not done just from doing that. I have to add 18 plus eight together. Eight plus eight is 16, and I carry my one, and my total is 26 points. So 26 points, okay? So that is one way. You could also solve this by just adding all of the numbers together and that would also give you your answer. Um, you can use the model. Whichever way is going to help you best is the way that you should use for yourself. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to page 194. Okay, on 194 at the top it says, Explain how you found the number of points Lola scores on all five questions. Well, we made a model, 
then used multiplication, finally we added, okay? Right here, it shows where they made a model for that problem. So just like ours, the first three questions, she got six. The last two questions, she got four. And our unknown is the P, because we don't know what the answer is yet. Or, right here, it shows where they did it using multiplication. So there's three questions where she scored six points each, plus two questions where she scored four points each, and we still don't know the answer. So then down here, how many points does Lola score in all? Well, we know three times six is 18, plus eight, and when we added those together, we got our answer over here of 26 points. So P equals 26 points. And then on number three, it says, you can model, all right, let's get a little bit closer. You can model problems in different ways. Look at the bar model in problem 2A and your equation in problem 2B. What different equations could you write to represent this problem? Well, you could also, instead of multiplying the four, since there's just two of them, we could add. So we could do the three times six, and then we could just add four to that, and then add four to that again to get our answer. And that would be another way we could do it. All right, go ahead and turn to page 195. Okay, on 195, um, we see here that we have a graphic organizer to talk about bar model. And a bar model is a way to draw a picture of what we're doing. When you are solving word problems like the one we just did, I highly recommend always using a bar model to help you solve those problems. Because if you do, then you're gonna get it right. So some examples of bar models. We could have, um, some bar models have a long bar at the top where you don't know the answer, and then they have right underneath a couple of others where if you add these two together, it would tell you the answer of that one. Some bar models are split between even boxes. I'm gonna make these as even as I can. And each of these might have a number, or a letter in them, I'm sorry, a letter in them, because we don't know. But then it tells us that the whole thing is worth 100. So we have to take that 100 and divide it up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that would tell us what goes in each of these boxes. Other bar models will tell us the total up here, and it will tell us one of these, but then the other one will be the one where we don't know the answer. So in this one, we would have to subtract. I guess I should tell you what kind. So in this time, we would subtract, and this kind we would divide, and this kind we would add. Um, others give us a number, and this one might be for, we'll say John. And then we'll have Tom down here, and these are kind of similar to some that we've already seen this year. And then this is telling us that Tom's is three times as many. So this one would be a multiplication one, because this would be the number we are looking for typically. Other times, it's just gonna give us one to show us the difference in sizes. So we'll say these are worth 10 each, and these are worth five each, because they're quite a bit smaller. 
And then sometimes um, they'll be just an even bar model with evenly spaced lengths and they will each be worth the same amount. These are more to look at and these four are more to tell us what we are doing. So if we are able to make a bar model and figure out what is missing, then we should be able to solve it using that bar model no matter what operation we are using. Now, on number two, down here it's giving us a bar model. Fill in the bar model below to represent the equation 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals P. We don't even have to find the value of P yet. So we've got one 5. Here's another 5. 4. 4. 4. Okay? So I've filled in my bar model here. Now, down here it says then find the value of P. So I have to find the total. So I can do 5 times 2 plus 4 times 3. So this is going to be 10 plus this is going to be 12. When I add 10 and 12 together, then I'm going to get 22, and that's my answer. Let's go ahead and turn to page 196. Okay, on page 196 at the top. In a video game, Adrian earns five bonus spins on each of the first three levels and two bonus spins on each of the next three levels. How many bonus spins does Adrian earn on all six levels? Okay. First, what is this problem about? Well, it's about Adrian playing a, a video game, and on the video game, he's earning some spins for what he does. What information is important? Well, it's important to know that he earns five bonus spins on the first three levels, and he earns two bonus spins on the next three levels. Okay, so that means if I've got three levels and three levels, that means I have six levels. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my six levels. Okay, there's my six levels. And it says he got five bonus spins on the first three. So five, 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 and two on the last three. So this is our first three. First three levels. And this is our second three levels. Next three levels. Okay? What am I trying to find out? How many bonus spins does Adrian earn on all six levels? So that tells me that I'm adding these together. So first over here, I have five times three. Then over here, I have two times three. So when I solve this, I would have five times three plus two times three to get my answer. Five times three is 15. Two times three is six. So then we do 15 plus six. Five plus six is 11. One plus one is two. So he got 21 bonus spins. This down here says to check your answer and show your work. We have already did that up here. So you are done with session one. I will see you back for session two.